Peter Levels, a very popular indie hacker and also a software developer who runs a lot of thousands of MRR projects, have recently created a GPT based game. It's a text plus image based game. The game was so popular that even OpenAI co-founder Greg Brockman retweeted that or QT'd that. So Peter Levels recently open sourced the prompt and the instructions on how to build that game. So in this video, we are going to go through every single step that has been mentioned to replicate the same game. The idea is not to create the same game as Peter created, but for you to understand how you can leverage GPTs to create a game that might probably be so popular that you can make a product out of it. Let's get started with the video. First of all, to give you an idea of how the game looks, I would like to quickly go through this GPT that Peter Levels have created. So all you have to do is go here and then start the adventure and then it will create an image for you. That image comes from Dali and then it will give you a bunch of text. This is a text plus image based game. So you have to play with text. And again, if you have gotten access to OpenAI, ChatGPT or GPT APIs, then you can go beyond this. You can probably fully productize this with 11 laps for audio and um, uh, runway ML for video. But right now we're going to just do it within ChatGPT plus GPT interface. So it's going to be text plus image based. So you have got an image and then there is a bunch of line of text and then it asks you currently you're starting with 100% health and you have captured or you have caught zero guilders. And what will you do next? You have a bunch of options to select. Once you select any particular option, the game goes in that particular direction. So this is like the timeline in the Loki, if you have seen Loki. Anyways, now how are we going to build this? Thanks to Peter Level. So we have got this entire thing as a gist file. So this is the open source version of uh, the chat GPT game monkey island amsterdam.com. You can go to the particular website and you can see the particular game live. So this is an unofficial image plus text based game. But if you want to play the real game in itself, you can couple it with, like I said, 11 laps and runway ML to give the full gaming experience. So how are you going to do it? The first step is for you to go to the chat GPT plus GPT's discovery tab. So we're going to go through every single step diligently so that you know how simply easily you can build the game. So go here first. This is the chat GPT discovery tab. After you go here, create a new uh, GPT here. After you click a new GPT, click the configure tab. After you click the configure tab, you go copy the name of the game. So you can go here and copy the name of the game. I'm going to keep the same name as it is, but you can change it to different city later on. The next one is copy the description. The description actually says that this is an unofficial text based adventure game inspired by Monkey Island taking place in a fictional version of Amsterdam during the age of piracy. The player assumes the role of it's very hard to pronounce name. A young man dreams of becoming a pirate who explores fictional places and solves puzzle. Quite amazing. This is like the Dungeons and Dragons in the text format. Next, you're going to go through the next one. Uh, what are the conversation starters? These are the starting icons. So right now you don't see any starting icon here. So conversational starters can help people to start the conversation so easily without having to think what to do next. So you have two conversation starters. Start the adventure. I found the treasure already. Continue from there. Open world mode. So you have these two options. The next one is you have to select whether you want to add any knowledge. At this point, this game does not take any knowledge. But for example, if you want to build the game for your particular corporate, um, let's say, identity, you can then upload the knowledge and you can retrieve data from that, like whatever response it has to give. Right now, no knowledge. Then in terms of capabilities, we're going to disable web browsing. We're going to disable code interpreter. We're going to use only DALI image generation because right now, based on the option that the user selects, it generates an image for the user. But again, it's up to you. You can improve the capabilities however you want. We're going to just stick to the original recipe that Peter has shared. Actions, no. But if you were to do it, that is where you know you can call the API, make a video and all the other things that you can do. Now is the main part where you're going to give the instructions. The secret of Monkey Island Amsterdam, a text based adventure game inspired by Monkey Island and you give the entire instructions. Okay. With every message you send, give the user a few options to continue like give, pick up, use, open and you give all the options and you finally end saying what happens at the end of the day. So if uh, not, they'll be fought down. If uh, they come back is sufficiently insulting, they will win with the upper hand. You basically design the entire game rules within this instruction and you also give uh, like what they have to show the first and all these things. So copy the instructions line by line until to the last line and the last dot go back here and paste the instruction. Once you paste the instruction at this point, your game is ready for you to play. 
all you have to do is you can click save here only me only people with the link public and then you can publish the game if you want and in the last video ai weekly summary we discussed about how you can also put this behind a paywall if you want to make money because of course you're going to pay 20 plus uh, dollars every month to chat gpt plus and this will be available only for chat gpt plus users so go play the game so you can say uh, i already found the treasure and continue from there and it will go through this option and it is first going to start creating the image based on what you have selected and then it is going to give you the text and a bunch of options for you to play with it's as simple as that now if you want to customize this game you have a bunch of directions in which you can go the first thing that you can do is you can do the same thing for a different city in fact in fact you can ask the user for which city they want to play with and based on that you can already change it and that code is also available in the same gist so you can see here prompt adjusted to play in the city of your liking so you ask the user what city they want to play with and then you can build the graphics around that particular city that is one thing that you can do the next thing that you can do is right now it is inspired in the theme of piracy you can change it like futuristic dystopian cyber dune whatever like fictional novels that you have got harry potter so you can basically do whatever you want to do and then change the theme and then the next one is like i said you can upload your own knowledge like a corporate knowledge or game knowledge whatever knowledge that you want to upload and then have that and finally you can add additional capabilities like web browsing uh, code interpreter like if you want to ask them to enter the code and you want to evaluate the code based on that you want to give a result you can do all these things within this gpt plus inf uh, interface and finally all you have to do is add save and then do it if you have got the advanced knowledge we have already covered on this channel how to add actions if you have that knowledge to add actions then you can click here add actions which will help you connect this GPT with any other API that you have got. Only if you know the open API schema, then you can connect this to the API. So the possibilities are endless. And again, this is something that you should definitely try out. Like if you were to build an MVP, this would take like few hours of iterations, prompts, and then getting the right thing. And then you will have a, you will have an amazing game, the text-based game within your interface. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to just quickly save it and I'm going to click the public link. Once you click the public link, that means this game is going to be available for anybody in the public to use it. That's it. If you want to make any changes, you can come here and then make the changes. Uh, one thing you might have noticed at this point is our game does not have any image. That is primarily because we have not added any image for this game. So you can go here, go click edit. After you click edit, you can go to configure and then click this plus icon and then that will add the image. For example, I can say secret of monkey island and um, I can just say uh, Australia and uh, instead of monkey island, I can say kangaroo. I don't know. I'm just coming up with some random stuff. And uh, this is an official game inspired by, by, by this. And you can probably like put like an Australian flag. Australia. Is there an Australian flag here? Yeah. And you can add Australia and you can just basically optimize this entire thing for this game. And you can change the prompt here. You can change everything here and all the changes that you are making will be reflected immediately here. You can click the plus icon, upload your own photo, or you can use DALI to generate the image for you so that when your users see this GPT, they actually see the generated image here and uh, they would ideally see your name. If you want to add your website link, you can add the website link and all the information are available here for you to go with. So overall, this is a brilliant uh, approach to build uh, an MVP and you can also get feedback from the users immediately to see if they like this kind of game and if you want to monetize or if you want to take this into next direction. I guess this is, that is it. And um, yeah, I'll link the tweet and the gist in the YouTube description for you to play with and also the original game that Peter built. So it's so nice of Peter to share the uh, entire code. Um, I mean, you might think that this is a prompt, but this takes a lot of effort in creating the particular prompt. So thanks to Peter for sharing this. And if you happen to create any game, please let me know in the comment section or on Twitter, wherever you would like to share it with me. I'd love to check it out. I hope this video was helpful to you in generating a chat GPT plus game, which I've never imagined that that would happen, but that is where creativities of humans are always there. So see you in another video. Happy prompting.